Monday. Didn't think it was going to happen on Friday, but Monday happened. Here we are. It's GeoGuessr. I'm recording this almost at the same time this gets released, just a day prior. I don't know if I have morning voice or not compared to what I normally say. Normally say is that A O D O E? Odoe? Odole? These guys like that Beck album that 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 well or like it that bad no say like it that badly doesn't sound right, but again English is dumb. Greece is small enough or I feel like this may be near an island. I'm gonna like click e e e here. Then maybe I'll see a Okay, maybe that isn't water down there. Maybe we're closer to the center of the country. No, that's totally water. This isn't part of Greece that I've seen, or at least recognize. <clears throat> but I don't know if I have the morning voice. I, mean, I think I do. I don't know what causes it other than maybe not using it all that much. For like, well, ideally eight hours, but I didn't sleep eight hours last night, so... And I don't know when the transition switches over from morning voice where it's just like this and you sound real low or quiet to normal voice where literally it sounds no different. Industrial area of what? This is a big enough area that it's going to have an industrial area? I don't... Mm. We're near the water, near an industrial area. Um, haven't seen a road sign yet. Let's keep looking. That one time I went to, uh, Greece. It was a, oh, high gross. And Pat, uh, Patras. It's Patra, not Patras. Pyrgos. P-Y-R-G-O-S. We ended up going around this area, I believe it was, and uh, it was a resort town for, um, who were they? Well, the Patras is here, does that mean Pyrgos is going to be near it? This is Patra, but it's not Patra. Actually, it's spelled the same exact way. Uh, heading this way, so maybe I'll we'll, like, click here. I haven't seen, oh, there's Pyrgos, alright. 80 kilometers that way. We were like... I don't know where we... Patron Pirgo Street? Did I see a Patron Pirgo? Or am I just making this up? I feel... Kind of confident that this could be it. Well, Pirgo is 80 kilometers that way. Does that mean we're like at the intersection of... No, because it doesn't say the mileage, and I feel like it would have the arrow there because it's close. I'll click, like, right there. Maybe it, I'll just... Maybe Varda, if I feel even more confident. But it was a resort town for, uh... What was it? Macedonians, because they seem to, uh... visit that area a lot, so they... make their food kind of like... what people from that area would probably eat. And the thing that bugged me, just because, was the, the hell, the gy gyros, gyros, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if I feel like trying to be, like, proper pronunciation person today. But, they had the normal gyros, where they put all the stuff you would normally get on it. Oh, time ended quicker than I thought. Yeah, pretty close, though. I'll live with that. Five stars. I'm feeling generous this morning. And they put, um, you know, the tzatziki. If you've never had that, it's like yogurt with cucumber, dill, um, maybe some lemon. I mean, you can kind of do whatever you want. I really don't know where we are just yet, except for a big giant blur sign. This is, did this person like specifically go out of the way to ask to have their house blurred out? Or is this like witness protection? Interesting. I wonder what the process is of actually going through and having your house get blurred out. 
but yeah, they did the normal Suzuki stuff. We've never had gyros before. They're amazing. They're delicious. And they also put some french fries, I think, in there too, which I don't know if that's normal, but still tasted good. But the thing that really kind of grossed me out just because it's like, it's already got everything on there. You don't need to add anything else. It's good just as is. is they would put a lot of ketchup and mustard just directly on it with everything else. I'm just like, eh. I mean, I had it because when I'm on vacation, I will try everything at one at least once. Something Forest Alliance Inc. I don't this it's pot leaf and also could be Canada. I don't think this is Canada. That house, I feel, for some reason, I'm like that house held the key. It would have told us where we are. This feels like we're super north. Like, either Canada, potentially Alaska. But I don't know yet. Is this mile now? This is kilometers. So this is probably Canada, I'd say. We'll see. This is definitely getting out there, though. I haven't seen a highway or route sign yet. Maybe I'll get one up here. Well, there was a... It's probably just saying turn. Where is some, yeah, it's just curvy road. Fun roads to drive. Two minutes in, still got nothing. Other than I'd feel like this is north north Canada, but I don't know, there's more than just pine trees here though. So maybe it's not, and I'm not seeing French signage anywhere. So that's a sign that potentially we're not in Quebec. Why did I go backwards? Come on. Get me up here. I need to find signage. Canada's a big country. I don't know if anybody's told you that before, but I need anything on here. This is almost turning into Argentina. Or it's just... Well, this is actually not a straight road, so this is actually going to turn a bit, but... Okay, let's see what this sign says. Can I make... Walter's Lane. Doesn't help me. It's an intersection? No, I'm just seeing... Seeing things. God damn it. Gone. All this way, I have to make a decision here soon. There's no route signs on any of these roads. 30 seconds. Let's see. Anything, people. Come on, please. This is gonna be an awful guess. Ooh, 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 20 seconds. Oh shit, this tells me nothing. I got 10 seconds. 624. I'm gonna click here in Ontario. This is probably not, this is nowhere near it. This is gonna be a bad guess. Here comes terrible score. I got lucky, 100% lucky. 624 angle hunt. Fun, nice area of town, but give me more signage that I don't run into it at four goddamn minutes into it. Hello, Scandinavia. I wonder if I've ever been wrong with, like, first look of seeing it in, like, Scandinavia. Might have been. Doesn't feel like it right now. That doesn't feel like it right now. This is the first time I think I've seen a... A uh, house in Scandinavia with them with the flag on the outside. I mean, I've seen, I remember seeing in Sweden, I think in businesses they had the flags outside it, but never a house with the flag outside of it. I mean, that's a real thing you see in the U.S. quite a bit. That they, at least this country, maybe because I haven't seen, I've been to, ugh, maybe it's because I have not been to many other countries. But it feels like the ratio of house to nation's flag on the, hanging outside of it is pretty high in the U.S. compared to other countries. We are building a new road. Maybe because of erosion? Or was it just crappy? I don't know. No road signs, though. Other than just the speed limit. 
Why did I go back? You saw where I was clicking. Why did it want me to go backwards? And these dashed lines on the road couldn't tell you what they mean. Did I click anywhere in Norway yet? No. I don't see water, so I'm going to click like here. That's, that's the best explanation as to why I clicked where I did. I don't see any. Oh, Idel. Eat all. This is the first orange? No, that's just cedar colored. I almost thought it was orange. I'm like, man, you crazy. That's a quaint gas station sign. Hey, there's another Norway flag, but it's might this might say Oh. At Arstad, that doesn't help. Okay. Okay, Idol is there. And we've got half small okay. It's three miles to Idol. Can I find Idol in the minute thirty I've got? Just quickly looking over it. I don't know how big Idol is, so I don't think I'm going to see. <clears throat> so I don't feel like this is a Idol's a big Moy Arana. Idol's a big place. Norway is definitely long, though. Don't let anybody tell you it's not. Hammerfest. That's an awesome name. I want to go visit there. All right, let's go back down at the bottom here again and roll in one level. <clears throat> look for idol again because I don't know if I'm going to find anything else that's super helpful compared to just finding I this idol place and eat all whatever it's called and just going from there so gold nothing nope gala still not as hammer hammerfest is the coolest place I think of elga nope no, 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 no. I just hope I'm close. I don't feel like we're that close to water unless for some reason just across the hillside on either side it's just water. And then, all right, I'm going to click it. I had to, well, there's egg doll, but I don't see eye doll anywhere. Oh. Man, I had to go way in to find that. Okay. Four stars for Norway. Um, first look. Midwest to Canada. This, I don't know what this is. Pretty crazy looking, whatever it is. Okay, we're getting non-American. Signage, which makes me feel like this potentially could be Canada, and it also could be fucking Argentina because my luck is so terrible. <laughs> but they're saying it's English here, so this is Canada. What road is this? The important questions. Uh, that said, adopt the highway. I think I'm going to turn around and just take a look. Oh, we're right alongside of it. That says. It's a point of historical point of interest in 300 meters. Um, Alberta. Okay. We deliver maintenance services in Alberta highways. Well, Alberta is a very big province. But, you know, that's just a... Uh, so we're either on this one or this one. I just don't know what. Uh, keep an eye out for road signs. I don't think these dirt roads are going to say now approaching whatever route or highway this is. Hmm. There's got to be some logic to when they actually put the route sign on the roads. You have to do it every like couple kilometers at the end of every intersection. Whenever I think I should see one, I, I, I end up getting to it in the last, like, 30 seconds of a uh, opportunity or geo-guess round. Always happens way too late. 
That's dot com. It's not CA. Horse auction, huh? I really want to know if those pe if there's an actual like school for going for auctions. This might tell me some things. Simul just tells me. Oop. We're entering Redwater. No, this this sign. This is gonna tell me everything I need. I can feel it. Golf course historical Derrick Museum. Oh, this is oil country. Still no root sign. I don't know what Redwater. Look for Redwater. I don't know if there's an actual uh school for people who do auctions where they talk like super fast, but I'm almost convinced that 90% of what they say, they don't even know what they're saying. They're just going, they're just keeping beat with their like there's really, you could just be making that up. No one's, everyone's listening to like the third or fourth thing that comes out of your mouth, so you really could just be cursing these people out and they wouldn't know you're talking too fast uh who here we go edmonton okay edmonton 64 kilometers gibbons look for gibbons bon accord 64 kilometers so that's a bit of a ways i'm gotta click something uh 16 i'm gonna say like right there I was pretty close for, I don't know if I really deserved, oh, red water's there, that's a, uh, not too far, I at four stars. Russia? Nope. Potentially America. Well, we're going to find out right here. 45 miles an hour. I'm pretty sure that's not kilometers, because that's slow as fuck if it's 45 kilometers and 45 mph. All right. We're in America. In a very... I still indiscriminate section of uh, geography here. Uh, that doesn't help me, although that's at Highway 56. Okay, we're on Highway 56. I need... Bit more information before I'm ready to make a guess. Rock Spring Baptist Church, that doesn't help me. Those I don't understand why there's those little dongly things on top of the power lines, but it just makes me feel like we're close to an airport. Because I see those a lot around the airport here in town. I don't know if there's any other reason. And I'm really getting tired of having to talk on an upwards inflection at the end of my sentences. I didn't do it there. We really don't need this many turn signs. We get it. Although this is a fun road to drive. Just because it turns. That's that's my criteria for fun road. You are an old Ford F-150. Early 90s. You're an old car. Doesn't feel right to be saying that that section of time is an old car now. But it is. Man, I've not seen... Anything here except a highway and a lot of Baptist church, which makes me feel like we're in this section of the U.S. That's as far as I'm willing to make a guess right now, just because of Baptist churches, I feel, are a thing they do a lot down in the southeast. Or in the South, as everyone in America usually calls it. But even though South really technically considers all of the southern part of the U.S. Another historical... I thought they said historical napalm. That would have been silly. This... Highway 56 still. And we're near a Bird Creek Baptist Church again. In case you missed the first exit. I guess it's that big. Minute 20, got nothing. I gotta make a decision here. This is a really long, desolate stretch of road. That tells me nothing. Oop. 
this is a historical marker sign for Sasa Sasakwa Sasakiwa. I can't make that out. Where'd that sign go? Oh, we're right next to it. Welcome to Cully America. I don't know if you really need to put that there because Cully's really not bordering anything. Now I'm I'm gonna click like here. Can mouse work for me? I have no idea. I'm like why would he put America there unless they're close to a border, but they're not because this is I feel in the south. You mean you could just say Cully the state? It's about as dumb and obvious as putting Cully America when you're in friggin' anywhere. That is a Baptist flag. No, that. Uh, the hell? Oh, we're in Oklahoma. All right. Was that the Oklahoma flag? Maybe it was the Oklahoma flag. There's Sasak Sasakwa. I'll give it four stars. Feeling generous this morning. Oh, Jesus, it's over. Well, if anything, if, if last week was anything, this is going to be by far the highest score we're going to have all week, where the rest of the week is just going to be fucking terrible. But I'll take it two Mondays in a row, two 20,000 rounds. Um, yeah, good way to start off my Sunday, but really it's your Monday. Yeah, happy Monday. Either you're starting your day off or ending your day with this. Hope it was worth it. Um, but yeah. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. If you got any more pointers, like the guy had uh, a couple of days ago about a region in Russia. About anything I've talked about here or anything that would help me out. I would definitely love to hear it. Leave it in the comments below. i just love to hear from you guys. But for all of us here, um, thank you all for watching. Check out some of the other stuff we got going on the channel. And uh, we'll see you here either tomorrow for Uncharted or on Wednesday for some more GeoGuessr. Uh, have a good day, folks. We'll see you soon.